A rally this morning in Queens after a taxi cab driver was beaten to death by passengers who police say refused to pay their fare and tried robbing him. Fellow cabbies are now calling for justice in the case. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from Woodside with the latest. Christina? Good morning, Cindy. The victim was less than two hours into his shift Saturday morning when police called his family with the tragic news. The New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers is now offering a $15,000 reward. Kutin Gima, described as a peaceful man, took his last ride at work around 7 a.m. Saturday. Police say the taxi driver drove his five passengers to their far rockaway destination. It was there at Beach 54th Street and Arvern Boulevard where the suspects didn't pay their fare and tried to rob him. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. That's just awful. Why do you have to attack somebody for no reason? How much maybe is that money? And you took somebody's life. Come on. Witnesses say Gima tried chasing the three men and two women when he was hit in the back of the head. The taxi driver fell to the ground, hit his head, lost consciousness, and later died at St. John's Hospital. Right now in the house, the it's men's fellowship are there there. now. The yeah. pastor is there. Everybody is yeah, there now. The Ghanaian community is coming together to comfort his wife and family. The 52 year old was a devout Christian and leaves behind four children, the oldest only eight years old. She's so young to hear this with four children. Too bad. The New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers is offering a $15,000 reward for information, leading to the arrest of those responsible for inflicting such a painful loss. A loving, loving and caring gentleman, hardworking, hardworking, takes care of the family. Yeah, we've really lost a dedicated father. And at today's 10 a.m. rally, we're expecting not just to see the victim's family, but also a sea of taxi drivers out here in solidarity. We also know that the victim's employer has offered to cover all funeral expenses. Reporting live from Woodside, Queens, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.